horror movies. What's not to love about them? It seems like out of all the movie genres, horror is the one that I find myself returning to the most. And even though they don't scare me as they once did when I was a child, and believe me, there were a lot of sleepless nights for me when I was a kid, I still find them to be entertaining, suspenseful, and of course funny. And the best funny moments often comes at times when the movie wants us to take it seriously. Which I am to assume brings us to today's top 10 list. Indeed. This is Entertainment Junkies Top 10 Funniest Moments in Horror Movies that probably weren't meant to be funny, but they're still funny to us anyway. Number 10. Cowboy Dance from the movie Demon Knight. This scene comes out of nowhere as the collector, played by Billy Zane, jumps through a window once he realizes his cover's been blown. What then follows is pure magic. Fuck this cowboy shit! You fucking hold dunk, hold dunk, well then there, motherfuckers! All you have to do is give me the goddamn key! Then we could get on with our lives! Number 9. Heads up from the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This scene starts off with a group of bikers hanging out in the back alley when all of a sudden, big old bad Jojo comes rolling into town. Big Bad Jojo coming into town. <laughs> of course, one of the bikers decides he wants to be an asshole and wrecks poor old Jojo's bike, which leads to a fight that ends like a match out of Mortal Kombat. What are you gonna do? Knock my block off? <laughs> Damn. Fatality! Number 8. Presto, you're dead from Child's Play 3. First off, how bored of a barber are you that you would even attempt to cut the hair of a child's play dial? Nevertheless, he clearly picked the wrong day and the wrong dial to do this to. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... Dead. <laughs> it's definitely you. The funniest thing to me about this scene is clearly the dialogue and laughter delivered by Chucky afterwards. I mean, really, you can't help but chuckle yourself when you hear it. It's so maniacal and evil, yet so contagious. Funny scene. Number seven. They're all laughing, Evil Dead 2. One of the more comical yet still creepy scenes in the movie, we see our hero Ash first confronted by a deer's head on the wall, which breaks into laughter. And then shortly after that, everything from the books on the shelves to the lamp joins in. Ash, our hero, takes the if you can't beat him, join him approach and gets in on the act. And we did too, while watching them slowly slip into a hysterical madness. <laughs> Number six. Think fast from the movie Deadly Friend. Damn sheds. You know what? We learned two very important things from watching this clip. First, yelling at the top of your lungs won't help deflect any incoming projectiles whatsoever. And second, a basketball has the strength of a cannonball when thrown just right. Oh, oh there's a door right there. Oh, oh, sorry about that. It's locked. Oh, oh, there. Go ahead. Take a seat. No. Oh, you missed it. I'm sorry. Well, just lay on the floor. There you go. Number five. Screaming like banshees, well, well, well. Night of the Creeps. It isn't spanky enough, Alpha. This scene starts off in the interrogation room him. as Detective Cameron questions well, Chris and JC you? on the supposed prank they played. Sees Mr. Minor here as the night janitor down at the University Med Center. Says he saw you guys running out of there last night. 40 miles an hour. Screaming like banshees. By the looks of things, you can see the janitor is clearly getting a kick out of all this. 
Well, we got into the lab and, and we got the body out of this, out of this thing. And then we chickened out and ran away. At 40 miles an hour. Screaming like banshees. But it's also the janitor that puts this scene so high on my list. <laughs> Screaming like banshees. <laughs> Number four. Kicking ass for the Lord. Dead alive. Devil is amongst us. This scene starts off just like any other scene in your typical zombie film, and then this happens. I kick ass for the Lord. That has to be one of the greatest lines in any movie ever. He's going to Van Damme on all these zombies. Oh, you can't walk that off. Sadly, it doesn't last long before he gets, well, you know. Number three. I can hold my breath for a long time. Creep shot. You can hold your <laughs> In this scene from Creep Show, Leslie Nielsen's character comes to the realization there's no escaping the victims of his jealous rage and breaks out into hysterical laughter as he finally gets his comeuppance. <laughs> But it's the final shot of him yelling out those last lines and the expression on his face at the end that really does it for me. I don't hold my breath for a long time. <laughs> oh, looks like it's gonna be a long night for you, buddy. Number two. What's in the basket from the movie Basket Case? And does she need any help getting this monster off of her? Hell no! Almost got the knife. Oh, and she drops it. And look at the disappointment! At this point, you would want to try to close your mouth. Maybe put up some sort of fight. Oh, there she goes. And just when you think she's finished... Number one. His dinner's in the oven from the movie Fright Night. Here we have Peter Vincent rushing to the aid of Mrs. Brewster. Or not. I did it! <laughs> this scene right here has it all. It's funny, it's frightening, it's over the top. Evil completely steals the show in this scene with that memorable line. One that I found myself repeating over and over again long after viewing this movie. But she left a note. no doubt our number one pick for this list hey everybody thanks again for checking out our top 10 list and if you found it to be funny somewhat informative or even the slightest bit entertaining by all means hit that subscribe button and if you want you can check out some more videos on our channel like Mike and Sam's movie review or coin count and if you want you can find us on Facebook and Twitter 
Until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Sam. Entertainment Junkies, out. <laughs>